In this video, I want to describe what can be a variable type and what can be an object type in the Java programming language. First, let's see what I mean here when I say variable and object type. Take line number 57. In the highlighted section, you see I'm declaring a variable. The variable is called inventory vehicle, and it's a variable of type vehicle. On the right side, you see I'm calling a constructor for neon. Neon is an object that I'm storing in the variable called inventory vehicle. When you first learn programming, these two things are the same. But as soon as you realize that they can be different, it opens up a whole, new, a whole new toolbox that you can use in programming. So a refresher on polymorphism, and then we're going to get into some examples. So pardon me if you've heard this before, but it's worth repeating. And trust me, you'll hear it someday in a technical interview. In polymorphism, variable type tells you what methods you're allowed to call. Remember, variable type is what is to the left of the equal sign, or in other words, the assignment operator. The object type tells you what will happen when you call those methods. So in other words, it's what's to the right of the equal sign, the thing that follows new. So let's look at some examples. First, a class diagram that's going to help guide us here. We have a superclass called vehicle, which in our case is an abstract superclass. It has subclasses Neon, Cavalier, and Prius, and vehicle implements an interface mobility. So if you need to take a screen capture of this, put it on a different monitor, that will probably help as we walk through the next series of, of steps. With a bit of Windows magic, I'm able to get these, this all on one screen. So first of all, our class diagram is reflected over here in the spreadsheet. We have an abstract superclass called vehicle, as you see here. The subclass is Neon, Cavalier, and Prius. Neon, Cavalier, and Prius. Vehicle implements the interface mobility, so everything you see here in the class diagram I have represented in the spreadsheet as well. Now what we need to do is determine which of these below are legal and which are not legal. It's going to be easiest if we go with if we start with the set of rules. So all methods that are present in the variable type, remember variable type is what's to the left of the equal sign, must also be present in the object type. The object type may have more methods than the variable type has, but the object type has to have every single method that is defined in the variable type. Therefore, the variable type can be the same as the object type because then the methods match, no problem. The variable type can be a superclass of the object type because if we look at vehicle, we know the method go is defined in vehicle and it is e either inherited or overridden by every single subclass. The variable type can be an interface that the object type implements. So a, an interface like low emission vehicle has a method called apply for rebates. If I implement that interface in an object, I have to give an implementation for apply for rebates. So given that, let's consider each of the following and decide whether or not they're legal. The first one, vehicle my vehicle equals new vehicle. This one's not so clear. Normally this would be green, but there is a little footnote here and that is a vehicle is an abstract class. We cannot create an object out of an abstract class. Therefore, that is not legal. New vehicle is not legal, provided this is abstract. Uh, but if it were not an abstract case class, this would be legal. I'm going to color that yellow just to kind of note that it depends on whether or not vehicle is abstract. Now, vehicle my vehicle equals new neon. So the variable type is vehicle, the object type is neon. Does neon have every method that's defined in vehicle? Yes, it does, because neon is inheriting that go method. Is vehicle a superclass of neon? Yes, it is. Variable type may be superclass of object type, so that is green, no problem there. The, uh, Prius, exact same rules, absolutely fine. Prius has all of the methods of vehicle, or it overrides them with the same signature, that's fine. It also adds its own methods. That one is fine. Vehicle, is vehicle a superclass of Prius? Yes, the variable type vehicle is a superclass of the object type, that's fine. Neon my neon equals new neon. In this case, is neon an abstract class? No, it's not abstract. Is the object type the same as the variable type? Variable type can be the same as the object type. In this case, yes, so that's fine. Cavalier my Cavalier equals new Cavalier. Yeah, for the same reason above, uh, object type and variable type are the same. The uh, class is not abstract, so we can make an object out of it. So that one's fine. Here's where things get tricky. Cavalier my Cavalier equals new vehicle. Is this le legal? The answer is no. 
because remember Cavalier has this convertible attribute and while I don't have it listed here it has a setter and a getter which actually is an is method but nonetheless a setter and a getter for that attribute those are only available in Cavalier because not every car can be made a convertible there was no convertible flavor of the neon so in this case Cavalier has two more methods that are not available in the object type so this is not legal we're going to color this one red okay Prius my Prius equals new Prius yeah perfectly legal in that case the object type and the variable type are the same that's fine mobility mobile equals new neon wow think about this one in this case the variable type is an interface and the object type is a subclass of a class that implements that interface is this legal absolutely it is because vehicle is under contract to implement all methods in this interface mobility neon is an extension of vehicle it's going to inherit or override all of those methods so that's legal no mobility mobile equals new vehicle is this okay well here again if vehicle were not abstract it would be okay but because vehicle is abstract we cannot call the constructor on it we cannot make a an object out of vehicle so in that case we can't do it I'll leave this one as yellow just to indicate it's an either or if we were to remove this abstract it would be green with the abstract left in it would be red so we'll leave that as uh, as yellow okay vehicle vehicle equals new mobility can we do this boy this is a tricky one we cannot do this because what we're trying to do here is call a constructor on an interface and we cannot create an object out of an interface an interface can be a variable type as we see on row 19 but it cannot be an object type as we see on line 21. so take a look at these rules pause the video for a moment if you need but that helps to determine what can be a variable type and what can be an object type go with these rules uh, if you can just kind of memorize a few of these it will make a whole lot of sense going forward so i hope this video has been helpful and i look forward to seeing your comments thank you